343 is giving out free customization for Halo Infinite for just logging on to the game. Big changes coming to the event pass for week two of season two of Halo Infinite. We also have an update on the weapon jamming issue. Call of Duty sues cheat creators. We have some insights when it comes to the story of the next Mass Effect game and some crazy graphics for Unreal Engine 5, which is like the future of gaming. And a whole lot more. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So if you log into Halo Infinite today and sometimes afterwards, you actually will get some season two guests right here for mainly about the TV show, which I know we were promised some TV show customization stuff. We're kind of expecting like the armor cores and stuff like that, but not exactly. We're clearly getting a couple emblems right here. We also have a weapon charm of the artifact, which looks pretty sweet. A silver team weapon charm as well. And also some silver team emblems and things like that. So nothing too crazy, but still pretty cool to have the customization involved with this uh, TV show and game right here. I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to mainly this weapon charm right here for the artifact. I think it's pretty freaking cool. And also the weapon charm for silver team is also pretty awesome as well. We also have a pro progress update on the weapon jamming issue, especially for the battle rifle here. Uh, in a reply on Twitter here, Community Manager Unishek says, as soon as we have it addressed internally, we are prioritizing shipping and update for it. Sandbox Competitive Insights Pro Team and Test have been hammering on its since it first reports and making good progress. Once we have more details, we'll be sure to share them. So it's glad to hear that like the progress on fixing this weapon jamming issue is going well. So that's great to hear. Um, we don't have any definitive dates or any kind of information exactly when we will get this update coming out for the weapon jamming issue. I mean, this is like a serious issue. I mean, we've seen um, like events get delayed because of this thing. People getting period mad about this. I mean, like, heck, even Spartan, who's a pro Halo player, tweeted about his rage about like this issue happening. End up getting fine because he was a little too hot on his take right there for sure. And a great change when it comes to the progression for season two. If you guys remember last week, well, the progression was pretty rough. A lot of random challenges are really not that fair. Well, looks like 343 is making it right by giving us five XP boost and five challenge slots. Now, I did talk about that in a previous video, but the reason why I'm reiterating this because in this week and this week alone, if you complete any of the event challenges, one challenge completed will give you two levels on the event pass. So you'll be grinding through super fast. But if you want to complete the event pass, all you need to do, grand total for the most, if you didn't complete anything last week, which I doubt if you're watching this video, you probably did, that it, you'll only take like five challenges at most to complete, which is pretty freaking awesome. I'm really glad that 343 is willing to do that. But did 343 actually learn their lesson when it came to the challenge system from last week? Well, it seems like they might have actually improved things quite a bit. So we have a view here of what kind of challenges we have. Obviously, these are my set of challenges. Yours might be a little different, but we can see like here instead of again, melees in the back, which I had for last part in standing, which is kind of rare to do. This one's just get three melee kills. That's possible. Plus, you also got a challenge. Hopefully, you want to mix them up as well. And we also have to kill enemies with a headshot in last part in standing three times instead of like what 10 or 20 times i saw so that's a definitely an improvement uh this one here com just complete four games which i think last week i had the same challenge but six so they've definitely reduced some of the challenge requirements here where they're much more obtainable especially for this week alone and plus we have a really cool weapon coding for the weekly ultimate but yeah like scrolling through all my challenges these are definitely doable challenges and that's so circumstantial and weird kind of thing actually well before I say anything else, look what I have here. Kill enemy Spartans from behind with a melee attack and last Spartan standing three times. That's definitely a swap challenge. But I think that was more kind of addressing some of the issues that some of them weren't tracking properly. Like I even saw a screenshot of like where it was like get 10 headshots in last Spartan standing. They had 20 headshots and this challenge still hadn't ticked yet. If you guys are curious what this coding goes for, it goes for the assault rifle. But you can see right here for my assault rifle, I mean like it looks just kind of gray with like a little bit of a gold accent on top of the assault rifle. So it's nothing too crazy. But hey, it's something to grind out for if you guys really want to try to grab this coding, go for it. And figured while we're here, let's take a look at the shop. People have actually been praising this shop quite a bit. And so let's take a deep dive into what we're actually looking at here with the Lechuza armor set here, which which looks, well, honestly, pretty freaking awesome. Not gonna lie. Has a really cool helmet right there with a cool attachment on top of that. You also have a chest piece, which this chest piece does look pretty freaking sick. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. That looks pretty awesome. You get some shoulder pads in there if you wanna mess with that. Also like the hand wrap on the uh, the gloves right there, which is kind of an interesting take on like sparring gloves and stuff like that. Different kind of knee pads. You also get a stance right here with the rocket launcher. Makes sense. 
Also, I did have this confirmed that this coating does come with the armor bundle as well. It just doesn't show it in the options for whatever reason. It doesn't show the coating, but it is in there. You will get this coating if you buy the the Chusa armor set. We also have the deep core red coatings here, which is kind of a cool like camo effect to like a red and black look. Like it's pretty similar to what we've had and seen previously, but it has a nice little subtle kind of camo effect to it. I mean, we have one for the Hydra. Look at that, we have a Hydra coating. That's a rarity in itself right there. Got a pistol, battle rifle. We also have the sniper rifle. We also have the Spanker rocket launcher, which definitely could use some more coatings, especially the VK Commando. Definitely need some of that. And also the Bulldog on top of that. This one is the Arate Noon, if I pronounced that correctly. Kind of a gold and white coating, which this does look real clean. I mean, this is about as clean as you can get right here. We've seen a lot of black and gold, we haven't really seen white and gold. And this is like a really outstanding, crisp, clear white on a lot of things right here. So really cool to see. I wish I would be on more coatings besides just the assault rifle here, but this looks almost like it reminds me of like a Destiny coating in a way. And last for the daily, we have Clippy. Yes, you have a Clippy weapon charm you can get for your character here, as well as some emblems and stuff like that if you care for that kind of stuff. But come on, we're gonna, if you're buying this, you're getting it for the Clippy <laughs> weapon charm right here, which is pretty freaking awesome. Some nice 90s memes when it came to uh, Microsoft and stuff like that. And I did have this confirmed that yes, this armor coating does come with this bundle. It's just, in some other gaming news, Call of Duty is officially suing engine owning who is a large cheat creator for warzone they're finally going after them now what will happen from this i mean maybe they'll shut down the cheaters maybe this will just stop i mean this is only one cheater but this is like the main cheater but what i think this lawsuit will do is definitely scare a lot of the cheat creators to go maybe we shouldn't do it so we don't get fined millions of dollars and get completely obliterated by the activision lawyers this is the big case for just gaming in general though not just call of duty because if you could see that if call of duty is able to succeed in suing these cheat creators and really kind of dig them into the ground really then this might set the precedent that further cheat creators might have to deal with in the future and how many games have cheaters in them well pretty much all free-to-play games especially halo for you all you halo fans if this lawsuit goes through well for the gaming side of things that means it could possibly scare future cheat creators when it comes to your favorite shooter so this lawsuit is incredibly important the developing story and i'll keep an eye on it for you guys and keep you updated whenever we get some new information on it now next bit of news we have some mass effect stuff which i'm a huge mass effect fan i mean look i got look at that right there i got the mass effect 2 squad right there on my wall if you guys remember this like announcement of mass effect will continue poster right here which kind of looks like a geth and some characters walking towards us then this is like a lithograph of like a thing you can actually purchase now but the thing is that the description is very interesting for all you mass effect fans since the next mass effect game is gonna be a continuation of the original trilogy it's gonna be kind of weird to see what they choose as like the canon ending because the way the Mass Effect trilogy ended there's some serious decisions that were made saying but the really cool thing about this thing that the description of this says that Shepard's final quest may have ended with the threat of the Reapers but at what great cost including Earth itself. Shepard and the survivors are left to pick up the pieces fans are left wondering what's next which if you chose the destroy ending to mass effect 3 there's a little bit of a hidden cutscene here not so hidden but like kind of then you see Shepard right here and he takes a breath in like he actually survived the ending of mass effect 3 which is quite interesting seeing that maybe the destroy ending is more kind of like the canon ending of mass effect 3 to continue on the story which would be interesting to see like if Shepard actually lives through it if Shepard ends up being your main character you get to play as also continuing on saying talking about this image right here you can see there's like some characters that are walking in there confirming that a krogan and its four members team walk towards a geth shaped crater with a ship that resembles a normandy and bioware general manager gary mckay says that there are five major hints and surprises within this poster as well and so if you guys get a chance to study in better detail with this image let me know because i do love my mass effect now this right here is a little random i know but this is actually made in unreal engine 5 and this is kind of made to showcase the future of gaming in a way because this looks like straight up reality like this is real this isn't like fake to me like this looks absolutely real but this is insane the graphical fidelity that's possible with unreal engine 5 i mean 
we, we say this every time there's a new engine that comes out that it's unreal it's crazy to see like how impressive the visuals are like i remember when we saw, first saw the visual presentations of unreal engine 4 people were losing their collective minds and they're doing the same thing again with unreal engine 5 but this has been making the rounds on twitter and also on social media but like wow the visual fidelity of this is absolutely insane the future of gaming is looking very bright in some other gaming news, Splitgate has started up their own pro league, which is qu really cool. We actually have some familiar faces if you're used to the pro teams that are part of Halo. Well, some of those have actually joined into with Splitgate as well. Teams like Exet, Space Station Gaming. We also saw Luminosity, HDS Kansas City, and also we have E United, but also have other teams of T1 and Moist. That is the esports team of Moist Critical. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! jump it into split gate as well there's some really cool additions and prizes you can kind of earn with this thing and they said they have over five hundred thousand dollars worth of cash and prizes for this event which is kind of sweet but also you the viewer has some cool things to unlock as well it's saying new in-game exclusives for prime members if you haven't already linked your account today claim multiple drops of skins portal effects and more so you actually have some reason to kind of jump in and get some drops if you enjoy playing split gate which there is a lot of crossover when it comes to the playability between split gate and halo if you haven't tried it out i highly suggest you do because it's been really well received from a lot of people ever since last summer with that update people have been loving this uh they said there's also like a pro series here saying it's starting up in june so next month keep an eye out for that and also that the action starts with a double header weekend of june 4th and 5th but do you yourself want to jump in and don't have an organization well they have the challenger series as well which is like an open qualifying tournament here so if you want to try to test your skills out in split gate guys this is the way to do it if you want to try to get into the competitive side of gaming uh, this is the way to do it pretty much like top two teams also like, get a chance to qualify for five thousand dollar challengers finals which i mean you get to play get money for being good at split gate why not try it out so if you guys are new to the channel miss any content from me recently check out this playlist right here got linked to all my news and informational videos right there thanks so much for watching greatly appreciate it catch you on the next one peace out